Hi, welcome to How to Repair. In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace a 12 volt, 20 watt halogen bulb on a cooker hood that's blown. Here you can see the cooker hood light bulb is not working. The bulb we will be replacing is a G4 two pin 20 watt bulb. These are very easy to replace. Also, later in the video, as this is only a short video, I will give you a link to the full diagnostic video on all these cooker hoods that are manufactured by the Whirlpool Group. This includes Hotpoint, Indeset, Ariston, Creda and many other makes. Using a small screwdriver, you will notice there's three insert points all the way round. And you carefully, either with a flat blade screwdriver, need to prise the stainless steel rim away from the light fitting, being careful not to damage the glass. These glass are very fragile. Once you've removed the glass, you will be able to get access to the bulb. Before replacing the bulb or taking the bulb out, do make sure you disconnect the appliance from the electricity supply, as if you create a short, you could damage the printed circuit board or the transformer. Carefully get hold of the bulb, wriggle it backwards, and the bulb will come out. This is a two pin bulb, as you can see here and you will be able to inspect the bulb for any signs of it being blown. This would mean the filament coming away from the bulb itself or the bulb will be black. If you look closely at the bulb on this side, you can see the filament has come away from the actual bulb itself. The one on this side is actually the new bulb. It is very important when fitting a new bulb that all the bulb is completely cleaned with a tissue and there are no fingerprints on the bulb. Now when inserting the bulb use a small piece of tissue wrapped around the bulb to carefully hold it while you line up the two pins that slide in. Then just carefully wriggling the bulb slide the bulb into location. At this point you will be able to turn the power on and test the bulb is working. If the bulb is not working, please see our more detailed videos on doing diagnostics on the electrical system to check that your PCB and the transformer is all working correctly. It's a good idea at this point to make sure the glass is clean and then when you reinsert it, line up the three points. As you can see, there are holes on here. Line up the three points each side and then carefully push the rim into place. On some cooker hoods, the light bulb unit is only sold as a complete unit. Sometimes you will have to identify the bulb by looking closely in the actual bulb holder. And you can see here it says 20 watt, 12 volt G4. If you are unable to identify the light bulb for your cooker hood, you will need to take away the metal filter then if you have a carbon filter fitted, remove the carbon filter and up in the side of the cooker hood, you will find your full identification number. This will help you identify the part that you require for your cooker hood. Remember at the website, we do have a more detailed video on full diagnostic on cooker hoods. These are quite long videos, but they will show you how to check the wiring loom, the circuit board, the transformer and the motor systems. These videos are available in the links above and in the description below. If you do need any parts for your cooker hood, remember you just follow the links below, go to the website, make sure you include your full model number. Thanks very much indeed for watching this video. Please remember to shop at a how to repair. And if we really helped you, you can always click on the subscribe button or the Buy Paula Beer page. Thanks very much indeed for watching.